The following secret recordings are the property of me, Mayor Woody Woodson, and are for the express use of me, Mayor Woody Woodson, or my future autobiographers. Mr. Mayor! Mr. Mayor, you look terrible! Ivanka, I'm tired. Oh, it's hot. Keep going, Mr. Mayor. Whole town finally see you for brilliant man you are. Man of determination bringing teeny peoples of Daltonville what they need. Change! 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 He's been sawing that darn parking meter since yesterday morning and nothing's changed. He's barely a quarter of the way through. Mama Dalton, this parking meter will regret day it pick fight with Mayor Woody Woodson. Yay! Yeah, well, they'll get bored of him soon. The yachts can't keep sawing forever. Yes, he can! Yes, he can! Yes, he can! Yes, he can! This is Haley Banks for the Daltonville Middle School Daltonville Daily Download. Reporting almost live from Daltonville Town Square. What a dramatic turnaround for Woody Woodson's lethargic re-election campaign. Adoring crowds, name recognition in the high teens, from town doofus to half-crazed populist folk hero sawing away quixotically through the solid steel of a parking meter. It's hard to believe this story started exactly 48 hours ago this past Monday morning. This past Monday morning. Ivanka, are those socks? Come for the beheading! Gotta pee, gotta pee, find a nickel in my pocket, find a nickel, find a nickel, gotta pee. Oh, there's a nickel! Into the parking meter! Go, go, go! Dang! The state parking meter just ate my nickel! And I don't have another nickel. Dang, Monday mornings! Hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? A dime? I, I, don't, I don't even have a nickel. Oh, I have a nickel. What? It'll cost you a dollar, though. Times are tough. What? But, uh, well, here, a dollar. <laughs> oh! Need another nickel? Two dollars. Somebody should fix these things. These dang meters never work, and I gotta pee. You can't fight City Hall. Well, unless you're the mayor, which I am. Who? You? The mayor? That'll be five dollars. Well, that's the problem right there. The corn lever doohickey is tripping up the feedback hinge piston, so that there's going up your fuel line. Fuel line? What? Uh... It's a parking meter. What have you been feeding this old girl? Uh, change? Change? Nickels, mostly. Well, that's the problem right there. Wait, but uh, can you fix it? Son, they ain't built a parking meter yet that can resist old Rusty's magic fingers. <laughs> have they, girl? No, no, they have not. <laughs> so what's this going to cost the taxpayers? Well... Park a meter's like a woman. You'll know something's wrong, but she ain't gonna just up and tell you what it is. A ballpark figure. I'll give you the Monday afternoon discount. Five G's. Five G's? Jeez Louise, for 20 parking meters? Oh, you need all 20. <laughs> That's way too many G's. Each meter makes, what, 50 cents a day? On a good day. Well, Rusty, I'm sorry, but I'm getting another estimate. Yeah, good luck taking that up with the town council tonight. Town council? You ain't never heard of a no-bid contract? All in favor, say aye. All opposed? Yay. But, but uh, I don't understand. What's not to understand, Woodson? That the town council can't make smart, unanimous decisions. No, Mama Dalton, that the town council is just going to sit there and let Rusty rob us blind. What are you implying, Woodson? That just because Rusty happens to be my second cousin, he hasn't earned the right to charge 20 times the market rate for a day's work? No! I mean, yes! I mean, what? All in favor, say aye. What are they voting on? All opposed? Yay. Mayor's Log, Part 56, Tuesday, 10, 12 a.m. Town Square, moved, feisty, determined, and deadly. I stare down my enemy, the no-armed bandit, the parking meter of doom, a tall, skinny icon of corruption and government neglect. Well, one trip to the hardware store this morning, and I return to slash the throat of Daltonville's nickel-eating nemesis. Hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? It's you again. Need a nickel? Nice chainsaw. Mr. Woodson! Mr. Woodson! No! 
Welcome, Bonnie. Come for the beheading. You can't do this. Oh, you're right. I forgot to wear my protective eyewear here. Oh, I mean, it's not legal. Legal, Schmeagle. Look, we both know Mama Dalton's got town council by the nickels, and I can't fix the meters without overpaying her crony cousin. Not without town council approval, no. And I wanted to have the meters torn from the sidewalks, but you said... Town council approval. And so if I can't tear them out, hello, Mr. Chainsaw! <gasps> Still can't! But Bonnie! <clears throat> they're broken. They eat nickels, and they're a blatant symbol of cronyism. But I didn't say, as mayor, you couldn't legally remove faulty city property. You didn't? Nope. Especially if you, as mayor, and I can't believe I'm saying this, are actually in the right. Bonnie, really? Me, right? You do need town council approval for the chainsaw, however. That's a noise ordinance. But no chainsaw and... Oh, what's this in my pocket? Sticking through a little loophole? Is that a handsaw? It is a handsaw. Now, well, how'd that get in there? Oh, Bonnie. Zip it. And let's never speak of this again. Mayor Woodson, Haley Banks, Daltonville Middle School, Daltonville Daily Download. Do you care to comment on the current two-hour-long incident of vandalism that's taking place in broad daylight right here by a high-ranking city official? Haley, it's 12.15 on a Tuesday. Aren't other 13-year-olds at school? So, you have no comment on your handsaw campaign to decapitate Town Square's parking meters at an agonizingly slow pace? No! A blister! <laughs> Haley, for too long, this busted system has swallowed up the little guy's hard-earned nickels. That may seem like pocket change, but it's pocket change that should be in the pockets of people. Can I quote you on that, Mr. Mayor? I... Wow, you're actually asking me? Mm, for dramatic effect. I'm gonna edit this how I see fit anyway. But, in essence, what you're saying is... The people of Daltonville need nickels. It's time for the nickels we need. Nickels! Nickels! You mean the change we need, right? We need change. So, you're the change candidate. Well, sure, but specifically nickels. It's all about change, says Acting Mayor Woodson, and maybe he's on to something. In fact, the citizens of Daltonville don't just want change, they demand it. Hey, little girl with a tape recorder. Spare a dime? Need a nickel? Initial reactions as of first lunch period were positive. For the first time in his brief administration, Mayor Woodson is connecting with voters on his message of change. My daddy never got change. When the homeless guy asks him for some, he's never got none to spare. Bet mom could give me more lunch money now. Two more chocolate milks every day. What? What, you calling me fat? We glandular. Oh, I have to admit, those parking meters are even more pointless than acting mayor what's-his-name himself. But if he's willing to saw himself silly for 24 hours straight just to save me a few nickels, well, that's change I can believe in. <laughs> Denomination, do we prefer it? Nickel, quarter, penny, dime, these parking meters are a crime. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, don't faint with dehydration now. You hack so almost halfway through the poll. Look, I want to make t shirts. They say, Woody Woodson, change candidate. See? Picture of your face on Nickel. Thomas Jefferson, ugly pig compared to you. Ivanka. Are those socks? Yes, they say, change is good. Change your smelly socks for change candidate Woody. Thirsty. Blisters. Uh, heat stroke. Oh, keep sewing, Mr. Mayor. Keep voters hopeful. Well, 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 Woodson. Hot enough for you. Get off the stage. Is Daltonville booing me? But I'm a Dalton. Boo to you, Mama Dalton! You are crony, loving, firmly entrenched bower monger who does not want us to have change. But I'm a Dalton. Wow, well, Rajiv, you are up on the issues, man. Yes, I listen to Brog of Haley Banks on the internet. It is the place for politics. Yo, yo, Woodman, nice, nice story. Because screeching my wheels up the busted ass nickel slots is no way for me to park my ride. Cool it, Garrett. Woodson. You may be getting a slight surge of enthusiasm over this change thing, but it'll pass. And don't think it'll ever sway town council. 
Haley Banks here, and apparently it is Swang Town Council. I caught up with one council member as she left the eighth grade talent show, wearing an unfortunate pair of leopard stretch pants. Yum. I mean, two days and that man's still just sawing and sawing. Wow, such stamina. And all those people watching? If we had an emergency town council meeting, I'd consider switching teams. And this just in by a text message from our youngest reporter, Ginger H8, whose mom sets up tables for town council meetings. An emergency session has been scheduled for tonight. Which side will win? Will it be change or will it be more of the same? Well, huh, that's a dumb choice. Everyone wants change. What numbskull doesn't want change? Well, this one's for all the nickels, folks. Reporting almost live from Town Square, this is Haley Banks. Woody stands for change! Woody stands for change! Order! Woody Please! Order! Wow. Biggest turnout at a town council meeting since the gavel giveaway of 92. Well, thanks for coming to this uh, ad hoc session held outside in town square. We'd like to... Uh, we'll start with... Acting Mayor Woodson. I know you haven't slept in days, but could you please stop sawing during the meeting? Sorry. But he's almost sawed all the way through the pool! He can't stop him now! To go, man! Change! 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 Uh, yes, yeah. So uh, we're here to reconsider this council's callous dismissal of Mayor Woodson's proposal called Change for Daltonville, whereby we use a sensible parking meter repairman who is not Mama Dalton's ridiculously high-priced cousin, Rusty. Any objections? Strange. Mama Dalton's not here. She's always here. Well, time to vote, then. Not so fast. The Daltons would like to address the town. Yo, 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 people of Daltonville! It's me, the lovable and cuddly little Jeans! You do not want to hear from your Daltons. You stand in the way of change. You are just more of the same. More of the same. More of the same. Daltons aren't more of the same. We've always been about change, too. How else would we have T-shirts? Oh, no. You can't just say you're the change candidate and then become the change candidate. Woody stands for change. How stupid do you think we are? Yo, yo, like total lemmings. Garrett. Oops. Yo, scratch that. If we were for more of the same, then why would we present our own counter-proposal for change? Here to explain is parking meter expert and my second cousin, Rusty. Yeah, hey there. So, um, I was looking at Daltonville's meters, and I thought, now, there's your problem. <laughs> so, for just a few more Gs, I propose we replace the whole lot of these old gals with spicy, hot new models. You want change? I give you change. Let me unveil for you the Maverick 9000. How oh, shiny. No, it's not change, but the same expensive crony problem. Ain't she gorgeous? Just screw these beauteous meter tops into the existing poles and voila! <laughs> no more nickels getting stuck. Cause these shiny fangle dangle beauties take dollar bills only. You stick in your crinkly money and you get cold hard change back. Oh, so if it uses dollar bills, that is to be less change leaving my pocket. And that's more change going into my pocket. That is a net positive in change. <laughs> that's not change. That's not change. Oh, what a dilemma. I suppose if both sides say they are for change, the name must be the same. I can go home now and catch up on Haley's Brog. Oh, yes. All right, then. All in favor of the Dalton proposal, say aye. Aye. And the Woodson proposal? Nay. Meeting adjourned. But what about Mr. Mayor? Mr. Mayor helped Daltonville change. Almost done. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Almost He did it! Wow! Woody actually sawed all the way through that pole. We'll all be. Woo! That old meter top been done so clear off! <laughs> well, that's your problem. Hold on! I got a shiny new model meter top right here. Good as before. Almost as if nothing happened. But, uh, but... Oh, Mr. Mayor, let us get you to hospital for IV drip. And 
Bandages for bloody hands. Oh, and shower. But uh, change. What about change? Hey, buddy, need a dollar? It'll cost you 20. Oh, wait, aren't you the mayor? That'll be 50. I take credit cards. Anything but this government. African fire miles. You got car keys? Can I have them? Give me your shoes.